the main contribution that we wanted to bring to the franchise that calls on horror, that calls on really good storytelling, that calls on visceral combat is Divergent Co-op. The idea with the Divergent Co-op in Fear 3 is to give the players a symmetrical play. We wanted to do something different, have each player experience the game differently. What we mean by that is that each player has unique sets of abilities. Now, when you play together these different sets of abilities, you create a whole slew of different ways that the players can strategize to set up tactics to combat the enemies. Well, when playing co-op, you can't always trust what the other player is going to do. The way that we're doing the scoring in the game, players are playing together to win points, but they're also playing against each other. <laughs> Fuddle on one hand, he can grab somebody, use them as a meat shield, and he's consistently working his way through that space and killing guys. My favorite power that Fuddle has is possession. So let's say there's a sniper up on the rooftop, and you want to create this flanking situation. Fettle can just possess that guy up there and become a sniper for that moment. And then you have Point Man, who's more of a classic first-person shooter player, and has the ability to use 360 cover and slow-mo. Adding co-op impacts the franchise in a very positive way. Co-op just inherently asks the player to replay the game numerous times. I mean, the whole idea of sharing the fear with your buddy, with, you know, some stranger, it just created a whole new type of fear experience that I think will really forever change the fear franchise in future.